nobody cares But I hope you soon find out how to love Once upon a time you wanted to learn I thought I could teach you but you were more afraid Than willing So when it comes don't push it away One day you will find it is the greatest gift My dreams are to have my name in light somewhere So if a man can help me get there so be it you only live once. Y'all are He's mine, not yours. Your situation. How could I be so stupid?
When will you realize that opening your legs will not make him like or respect you? Jumping in and out of beds doesn't hurt them, just affects you. Passing you around like the gossip you love to spread, leaving broken self-esteem and hurt feelings left unsaid. Believing all the bullshit and lies you've been fed, it's time you learn your work. Use your head, not your head. Please understand that I'm not here to judge you. I love you. You see, it's been a year and a half since we even said what's up. I kind of miss how we used to hang out. Thought it was time we catch up. I know it's hard to move forward when you feel like you're stuck. But you didn't sleep long enough. It's time to wake up. I 
had an alcoholic as a mom that used to beat me whenever she had the chance. And that my dad was never there. But that's irrelevant because I've got more important things to worry about. Like how to keep everyone from finding out that I'm not a role you're seeing me with before. See, what had happened was I got my refund check and dropped all my classes because that money pays for lit, treat, and of course new outfits. <laughs> y'all had the wrong one if y'all really thought I was going to be seen rocking the same parties, same outfits to different parties. I ain't going to lie, being the baddest is expensive and I dump them jobs. Y'all know. <laughs> He's mine, not hers. Yeah, I said it. She knows her little Facebook official love is only going to last so long. I mean, if he's so happy with you, why the hell is he coming to me? He don't want her. He's just trying to let her down easy. You see, life is about trying new things, meeting new people, and making memories to last forever. Making sure that I'm happy is my number one priority, regardless of who may try to get in my way. And he makes me happy. So I have to continue to sneak around a little more or hold out a little longer so that he knows I'm that one, so be it. If I have to continue to be called every name under the sun, second string girl, sideliner, or my personal favorite, homebreaker, so be it. Life in the guy used to be easy. Now there's so many rules and regulations, it makes it just a tad bit too hard. My friends often tell me, find a man of your own. Stop cheating yourself. Stop selling yourself short. But I'm in this 2D. I'll admit, sometimes I feel addicted to the thrill of knowing that he's risking everything to be with me and only me. So as soon as he gets through with you, let me correct that. As soon as he gets through with you, your situation, temporary. devoted my entire life and my existence as a human being really to the success of my husband and our would have been children. He was my everything, the reason I lived. I was his personalized Barbie doll, living in our perfect little world, living our perfect little lives. We had it all, the, the house, the cars, even the little white picket fence. It was a dream. But suddenly he woke up and he left me. It was all a lie. Love is no longer a part of me without him. Love. <coughs> Love is a lie. That's right. Love, love don't live here no more. Men, men are the scum of the earth and they don't even deserve to breathe. I guess it's like I was told before. They're all no good, low down, trifling, lazy, liars, cheaters, deadbeats, disrespectful, and just plain damn selfish. I am so sick and tired of being sick and tired. I wanted happiness. I wanted children. I wanted a life. You promised me. Promised us. But you threw it all away. And for what you ask, I've lost something that was supposed to mean everything. I, you can't even begin to fathom the immensity of the anger that I have inside. Plan B. I don't have a plan B. Marriage. Marriage is supposed to last forever. Where do I go from here? What am I supposed to do now? We are women fashioned by God to be radiantly beautiful, strong and powerful like the current of the night. We are daughters, mothers, sisters, and wives. Now is our time. Y'all are beautiful, intelligent, ambitious, leaders. We are awesome. We are awesome.